Hello, happy November 8th. Um, today's scripture is Psalm 78, 1 to 7. And our, our art today on the coloring page, yours won't be black and white when you're done with it, but it says, rise up and tell them to their children so that they should set their hope in God and not forget the works of God. Let's remember, it's important to remember what God has done and the many, many works of God. I think of um, times in my life when I've needed to uh, just remember what God's done and how God has met me. Like if I'm moving or something and I'm like, oh, I'm not going to make any friends. But then I remember, hey, last time I made friends and last time I'm, I was encouraged. And so I don't need to be sad. So remembering things that God has done is really good. And you can even make a list today of some of the great things that God has done in your life and remember how merciful God's been. So Psalm 78, 1 through 7 says, My people hear my teaching. Listen to the words of my mouth. I will open my mouth with a parable. I will utter hidden things from old Things we have heard and known, things our ancestors have told us, we will not hide them from their descendants. We will tell the generation the praiseworthy deeds of the Lord, his power and wonders he's done. He decreed statutes for Jacob and established the law of Israel, which he had commanded our ancestors to teach their children. So the next generation would know them. So they're remembering all these great things that God's done. And a lot of them are written in the Bible so they can share them you know, word for word from generation to generation. Even the children. Okay. So the next generation would know them, even the children yet to be born. And they in turn would tell their children. Then they would put their trust in God and would not forget his deeds, but would keep his commands. So it's so wonderful to know that it, we can trust God and that God is going to keep God's commands with us. And when we look back in our lives and in the lives of our family members or other people who know God, that we can say, yes, God was faithful to you and God will be faithful to me. So this is a good word today as we reflect on all that God's doing. So let's pray. Lord, we thank you for bringing us together. We thank you for these awesome kids. And we pray, Lord, that all the great stories of ways that you've provided for people, that those would be told and the kids will know them. And maybe they could even learn a little bit more about them today. We thank you for your word in Jesus name. Amen.